you are way down there, aren't you? Hello, frugalistas and dumpsterinos. How are you guys today? I have a fun bit cat. I have a fun video for you today. I'm going to show you items that I have not shown you before. Things that maybe didn't warrant an entire video just for that item. You know, if Frugal Daddy found like one thing in a dumpster, like, eh, that's not video worthy. But all combined, cool stuff. Want to share with you. Want to show you what we found. So these are things you haven't seen before that weren't worth their own video. I think I just said that. These are things that were either found dumpster diving or curbside shopping or things that we got a great deal at with couponing at a grocery store or at a thrift store, things that may have been given to us or we found walking down the street, you know, things that have come to us that we haven't shown you yet. Starting with this beautiful chair. This hot pink iteration of a classic office chair is much more pleasing to the frugal baby than her prior standard wooden desk chair. This butte was a curbside find. Hey guys. Hooey. You know, frugal mommy will tell you that this thing is a POS. But I disagree. Because, th wait, let me go get it. Sweet and satisfying. I'm gonna clean these up with the hose out here. And then I'm gonna put my nuts and bolts. And then when I need something, like certain clock parts or tools or something, I haven't decided which I'm going to do. I will say, oh yeah, let me go get that tray. Pull the tray, take it to my workbench, pick out some of the stuff. Put it back. Off the frugal mommy for the rest of the haul. This is all from CVS. We have three of the four Ensure Max Protein Nutrition Shakes. The flavor is Cafe Mocha. It gives you immune system support. The 100 milligrams of caffeine. Three of the four there. We've got some lavender scented Epsom salts that seem to have a little bit of a spill. We have CVS Health Paper Tape for sensitive skin. We have two Celsius orange flavored drink packets. These are supposed to help you, well, there you go. Get some healthy energy, accelerate your metabolism, and burn body fat. We've got the big man diapers. Uh, we have Ricola throat care, Ricola, made with Swiss Alpine herbs. What flavor do we have? Cherry, Swiss cherry. Release cough, da da da, you know your Ricola. And we've got no cheese cheesiness popcorn. Is this vegan? Is this, yes. Okay, that's all right. But then Reese's miniature cups, a big bag of them. This must really have hurt somebody's soul to have to throw those out. I can't even imagine. And then we've got a full bottle of Pepsi and the eggs are just there to keep the Pepsi from rolling away. Mm. Here's another curbside shopping find. Lisa, move your butt out of the way. Oh, I moved her toy basket so that you wouldn't see it. And she had to go over to it and get a toy. So cute. Uncle Daddy, come on, focus here. What can you tell us about these chairs? Are these mid-century modern? Yes. They look it to me. What do you think the wood is? Plywood. Would you say that these are kitchen chairs? Or are these desk chairs? They're not dining chairs because they're a little small for a dining room table, I think. What you would do with them? It really reminds me of our desk chairs in elementary school. Yes. Though they weren't quite this mid-century modern and elegante. I see them at, um, at Ikea or I see them on a website with Mid-Century Modern, but they don't really ever show what you do with them. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, it's just a chair. They could be spare chairs for the bunker. Right, Liesl? Check out this little tableau. Frugal Daddy got this tabletop at the Habitat for Humanity dumpster, and he got these four very mid-century modern classic pedestal chairs at the thrift store for four dollars and fifty cents each and they came with the cushions that's pretty cool frugal daddy and these are the originals like 19 early 1960s they are from arcana in england who in england arcana oh arcana oh that's cool automatic 
Mm -hmm. You know, you looked these up online also, did you not? Yes, I did. And people are paying what for these? Uh, the original Arcanas, I've seen as low as twelve hundred, and as high as two or three thousand. For a set of four. For a set of four, yeah. Wow. And the table would be amazing if we could get the table. The actual authentic and, table. Though I do at, really like. Yeah, that's a fun goodwill, table. At Goodwill, about three months ago, I saw a guy pulling out a um, a tulip table, and I said, "You got that here?" He said, "Yeah." He was like giggling. He was so happy, like when I was when I got the. I'm just saying. Are you sure that wasn't you? Yeah. There are other men giggling over yeah, mid-century well, modern furniture. I, it's a bonding yeah, moment for you guys. I have to find one because there's no way I'm paying a thousand dollars for it. Oh, yeah. obviously. Like, don't be ridiculous. I think, um, yeah, I think that was a great find. And Lisa agrees. Frugal Daddy found this super cool standing floor lamp in the Habitat for Humanity dumpster. It's got this groovy lucite shaft. It's very heavy, very well weighted at the bottom, so it's not going to tip over. It's got this, I don't even know what you call it, brushed brass finish maybe. And it's got this really awesome lampshade that's covered on top. So it gives a very soft, diffuse glow. And this lamp does in fact work, but it gets really bright. He has it on a dimmer, I believe. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's bright. He tried to find this lamp online, and I don't think he found this specific one, but what he found that seemed closest to it was like $1,000 at, uh, I don't know, where do people buy furniture? West Elm or da -da -da -da, Crate and Barrel or Restoration Hardware? I have no freaking idea. I don't buy lamps at fancy places, fancy places like that. But anyway... The ones he found online that looked like this were really expensive. I mean, can you imagine paying $1,000 for a lamp? <sighs> so there's that. Oh, look, a carpet. I wish I could show you the whole thing, but there's just, there's just too much stuff everywhere. But we got a new dining room carpet. This was found. Was this Habitat Dumpster Daddy or curbside shopping? That was, um, that was Habitat. Habitat dumpster. All right, so this is in our dining room now. That's a fan. And uh, who's under the table? There's just so much stuff in here. We're packing a bunch of boxes up and moving things around. All right, our favorite local thrift store just went out of business, and Frugal Daddy found this box of Legos in their dumpster. It's not the full set, but it's a good bit of Legos still. And we still play with Legos. I love Legos. I think this is the superhero set. So we have various figures. I wonder who he is. <laughs> this is me when I'm getting the kids to brush their teeth at night. Minus the chain and weaponry. Oh, that's fun. Cool beans, dumpsterinos and frugalistas. I hope you enjoyed the video. Can't wait to read your comments and hear your feedback and let me know if you think this should be a regular featured series. I also wanted to mention I have a few more Teemu videos coming up, so. They're going to be fun. Look forward to that. Seriously, very fun. Well, I feel like Esther Williams. All right, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. We will see you again soon in the dumpster or here in the pink chair.